Welcome to Wild High Life. Today I'm going to go up in the campsite and cut down some trees, dead trees, and trim them up. I need to get the chainsaw ready. I'm going to sharpen up three chains. Get the chainsaw sharpener. First thing we're going to do is mix the oil with the gas. So I'll pop out this thing and dump it in the gas. So, you just take this two cycle oil and put it into the gas. When you get gasoline, you want to get ethanol free. The ethanol and stuff has a tendency to make a varnish like deposit on the jets of the carburetor and it plugs them up. I just had to get the carburetor replaced on this chainsaw because of that. Now the next thing we're going to do is take off this chain. Last time I was out I was cutting some brush and I flipped the chain off and I haven't put it back on yet because I'm going to sharpen it. Use the scrunch, combination wrench and screwdriver to take off this cover so we can get the chain off. Okay now that the covers off you can see that the chain rests on this roller that's what drives the chain. There's a little roller on the end of the bar. We'll take that chain off. Notice all the gunk. I'll clean that up. I'll take this off. Put it up on the table to sharpen. Usually it's a good idea to flip the bl the bar every time you take off the chain. That way it doesn't wear unevenly. Now looking at these chains That these teeth run in opposite directions. Okay, so there's a tooth. It slants away from me. When we sharpen it, we're gonna stick the wheel right down in that groove. That groove is called the gusset. Now, if we were to sharpen it with a file, we just run the file in and out of this groove right here. But we're going to sharpen it with this sharpener with that wheel. I'll get the chain set up and then we'll take a look at that. Um, so you see on this that every other tooth runs in opposite directions. So you'll sharpen the one, the teeth facing the one way first and then the teeth facing the other way. This chainsaw sharpening tool has a miter gauge and so you take that arrow and point it to the angle that your chain's teeth are at. And then when you're done with the one, you take it and point it the other way. This is called the chain stop. There's a screw right there. I don't know if you can see it, that adjusts how high the uh, wheel comes down to the chain. Then we have a brake which makes this clamp close on the chain. There are little rollers on the ends of this chain track, just like the roller on the end of the bar in the chain track. And you want to advance the chain to just roll that. When you want to adjust the the angle at which the blade hits the chain, there's this tightening wheel underneath here. Obviously, when you mount this chainsaw sharpener, you need to mount it far enough away from the table when you put these two bolts in so that you can grab that wheel and adjust the... the okay, I've turned that wheel so that the the grinding wheel just barely 
touches right on the tooth right like it's supposed to goes right down into the gusset so now I will adjust that and then we'll plug things in we always do this with things unplugged plug things in and start sharpening okay the next thing we do is we adjust this chain stop okay so that when we bring that grinding wheel down and push it down in the gusset to sharpen it the chain doesn't move to do that we adjust this wheel so that the chain stop is up against the tooth that we want to sharpen once I get it in the right place and I tighten down this locking nut okay time to put on the safety glasses plug it in and get but before we plug it in we have to adjust the wheel so it doesn't go down too deeply into the gusset we do that by adjusting this stop screw right here we turn that down until it hits this point right here right there so that it goes down just the right depth and then once again once we get it the right depth we turn this lock screw to keep it in place there's this lock nut okay we're all set up ready to go we'll flip on the switch in the back bring it down and sharpen it Now we just roll it to the next tooth, but remember we have to get the tooth that's facing in the same direction. I got this chain a little bit too close to the table, it's binding a little bit, but that's okay. Just have to help these rollers a little bit. and so we just keep going until we get all the chains links facing the same one way and then we go back and do all the ones facing the other day okay moving on to the next chain I want to point out the difference in a chain that's almost worn out and a chain that's almost brand new see how much this tooth has been ground back quite a ways this chain is ready to retire got one more sharpening and then we'll just throw it away um, I'm going to use this chain today to cut through brush and beat up the chain this one I'll use for cutting down trees here's a little bit better shot of what I was talking about a second ago you see how much smaller this tooth is than that one this chain is almost worn out this one's almost brand new okay I've finished sharpening the chains and I've put the chain back onto the chainsaw the ch I've flipped the bar over the bar is loose the thing that holds it are these two bolts and these nuts once we put the cover on the way to get the chain on when the bar is loose like this is to put the chain on the bar end first and get it in the rollers then put the little teeth into the tracks and then pull the bar back get the chain around the the driver and then once it's like this you can put the cover on this screw right here moves the bar forward and back once you've gotten it got the chain on got the cover on you want to adjust that so that the teeth just barely come up out of the guides out of the guide on the blade about like that now I'm ready to put the cover on just set the cover on like this put 
put the nuts on. Tighten the nuts with the scrunch. Not too tight. We still have to adjust the tension on the chain. And we put the scrunch down in here and gauge the screw. We turn it to tighten the chain or loosen the chain. It just moves the bar. Okay. We have adjusted the tension on the chain and too tight, loosen it up a little bit. After you get done adjusting the tension with this screw, then you snug up these bolts or these nuts on these bolts so that the chain doesn't come off. Next thing we want to do is check the air filter. These usually get snugged up pretty good. You turn this, and this isn't a screw and it's kind of a, a lug. So you just switch it to the lug, but this can do is you take this cover off. This cover just slides up and off. And there's the air filter. And do these two screws to get it off. Notice how dirty it is. We'll clean that up. Putting that cover back on is sometimes kind of tricky. you got to get it just right so it'll slide on in the right place. Okay, here's the air filter off. There's the carburetor. This air filter is pretty dirty, but I've seen a lot worse. Clean both sides of it. Clean the air intake. And we'll put it back. Okay, here's the air filter cleaned off, ready to go. Put the cover back on. There's a little groove right down here. And a little groove right over here. You can get everything lined up into the view. The cover will go on nicely. So we'll put that right down there like that. That right there. Let me turn this so the cam engages, and we're all set.